What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am on my main account. In this video, we're going to be doing the last day of challenge award. Now, I was thinking about this. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go for really any damage this try. I'm just going to go all out tanky if possible and see if we can just survive as long as possible. Now, I'm already in the rank three spot. There's only three players so far on iOS that have killed this boss to the X7 point. So it'd be nice to climb a little bit. I don't even think we're going to be able to make it to the X8, even if we got two perfect runs. But we can still put up a good attempt, no doubt about that, before I change these talents on some of these heroes. Because this is probably the only time for the next month that you're going to be fighting the Saint boss. So you're not going to really need any Oracle heroes, right? So let's go ahead and set up and see what we got here. We got Valentina. Hmm. Actually, I don't even know if I want to use Valentina this time. Definitely going to be using Gunslinger. I'm not going to use Heavy Blow, though, because I don't think Heavy Blow works. So I'm going to use Sacred Light with Survival. That seems to work good. We got... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go all-out defense, like I said. I'm going to go Heartbreaker, but with Sacred Light and Survival as well. I would like to put a pet on Heartbreaker. We'll go ahead and give her Mini Angie. Actually, I'll put the pets on at the end. So let's see. Who else are we going to be using? We are going to be using... I'm actually going to use Ashura this time. Just because Ashura is a monstrous tank. And I don't think they're going to be able to kill Ashura. We also got Lavanica. We'll go ahead and use the Sacred Light Lavanica with the new pet Finnick, obviously. We don't really have to use Plant Warrior. Plant Warrior does seem to die pretty easy. Would his heals even help? I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to be using Revitalize on this man. We'll use survival. Should I go with survival or should I? You know what? I think I'm going to try. I saw somebody commenting in the comments below. Like, JT, bro, don't use survival. Your heroes are dying because of survival. Use another tanky talent. So let's try to listen to that and see if that works. Because I actually haven't tried it at all this week. So let's just go. Maybe tenacity is would be pretty good against this boss, I'm pretty sure. 100% extra HP, especially for some of these heroes. So yeah, let's go with tenacity on the heroes that are dying a little bit quicker. Let's see, Gunslinger with Tenacity, that is pretty freaking filthy, honestly. That's a lot of hit points. Is that what I want to go is Tenacity on all these guys? I guess so. Tenacity or Bulwark, yeah, let's go with Bulwark on Gunslinger. Because Gunslinger doesn't have as hard a time of dying, so I'm going to give her a little bit more, a little bit less life. And we'll use this Tenacity on one of these other guys. Who else am I using? We'll use Tenacity right here on Rosaline. That seems to be a solid... Uh, a solid insignia for Rosaline, no doubt. Actually, you know what? I want to go ahead and get... Let me level up this Tenacity just right quick. Because I saw I had one more Tenacity. Why not go ahead and use it? Get into my insignia bags. Convert, forge, upgrade, yes. And level five. So where's my Tenacity? There it is right there. All right, yeah, upgrade that. Right. Two of them, please. Thank you. Can I upgrade to level seven or no? No. Where's Tenacity? Okay, so it requires three. All right, well, we got it at level six at least. So level six tenacity, and now we can throw this on. We'll throw it on Ashura as well because it's going to... I'm just going to see the main reason why I'm even doing this is... Oh, wow, that's only 45% more HP. Yeah, that is not very much. We might be better off doing something like this. Create... Decrease the actually, you know what? Let's go with let's go with the 80% for vital boom. That'll be better off. 80% HP, level eight, plus better stats as well. Alright, so we got let's go ahead and use vital boom here as well. Alright, now we're talking, baby. We got Ashura coming on with Vital Boon. We got Levanica coming on with Vital Boon. We got Gunslinger with Sacred Light and Bulwark, which actually, you know what? I'm going to change this Bulwark to Vital Boon as well because it's 80% life instead of 60. It just makes more sense for survivability. Then we got Tenacity on Heartbreaker. And who is last? We're not going to be using Valentina. So is that six heroes? Let me go ahead and form my team and see what we got here. All right, so I'm not going to be using Plant Warrior and I'm not going to be using Valentina. Instead, actually, I think I might go with the Candy Cane route. For that extra dodge. Yeah, let's go Candy Cane and Ashura. And we won't go with heals. Just because that healer dies a little bit too easy, right? So yeah, this is the setup we're going to go with right here. All Sacred Light. Now let's run Candy Cane with... That 8 Revitalize. Mm, just straight up defense on Candy Cane as well, I'm thinking. Is that the smart move? I'm wondering if I should go with that Revitalize on Candy to give us the dodge right at the start. Or should I even use Candy? 
Candy might just be a waste. Who else could we use that's insanely tanky? Let me see. Who else could we use in this lineup? So we could use Commodore, not tanky enough. Creation. Mm, we could use Lazu. Lazu's a freaking tank. Yeah, let's use Lazu. I haven't really used Lazu. Why not? Let's use Lazu. We'll use Lazu. He's got the 9 revive, plus we can lead off with Lazu as a main tank, too. So let's see. Lazu's main talent. What do we got on him? We got Revitalize. That's not really going to be that important. We'll give we'll give Lazu... I guess we'll give him Sir. Ah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and give him this. 9 revive. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to give Lazu. He'll be better off with Survival. Alright, 9 revive with Survival. Alright, so let's just quickly check over all the heroes. We got Gunslinger with Rudolph, Vital Boon. We got Heartbreaker with the Mini Angie. We got Levanica with Finnick. Ashura with the Stun Pet, which probably doesn't work against this boss. We got Reapster there. And then last but not least, alright, yeah, we're good to go now, boys. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a full tanky squad right here, man. Insane, insanely tanky. So I'm going to start off with dropping Lazu, follow up with Levanica, and then the rest of all the heroes. And we, we don't have a Valentina, so we're just going to go all out. Now, oh, you know what? I can't use Lazu. I don't have Blinding Blow on Lazu. That would mess up my whole stun. Yeah, we got to change that out. What am I thinking? All right, so I do got Blinding Blow on... Oh, no, I don't have Blinding Blow on Ashura either. I forgot about Blinding Blow. That's a big rip, dude. Yeah. Ugh. That sucks. Alright, so back to square one. Sorry about the waste of time, boys. So we do have Blinding Blow. Oh no, we have 5 of 5 Malace on Candy King now. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking fell. Alright, well we got Blinding Blow on Valentina. So we're going to be bringing Valentina back in to the lineup. And then I guess we're going to be bringing Plant Warrior back into the lineup as well. Because we got freaking... Alright, well let's just go ahead and run... We'll, we'll just increase everybody's HP. We won't use Revitalize on anybody. We'll just increase everybody's HP. And we'll be using this, Revitalize, and... Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll use HP on everything. Just to see how it works. I mean, why not? It might be smart to get that Valentina proc off first, but... We don't have the option. That sucks we can't use Assure. It stinks that you need such requirements on all these heroes, man. We need better We need better options to put things on heroes better. All right, so... Sorry, guys. Let me just quickly do a rundown. This is taking freaking forever just to make sure everything's good to go. All right, we got Chickaboom looking good. That's one hero. We got two heroes looking good. Three heroes looking good. Where's our fourth? We got our fourth hero looking good. We got our... Fifth hero, looking good. And sixth hero, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and throw down, boys. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Come on, boys. Let's get a full stun one time. Leading out with Lavanica again. Plant Warriors coming second and everything else. So go ahead and send out my Lavanica. Send down all the rest. Come on. Don't die, baby. Don't die. Oh, Heartbreaker's already down. Oops, I moved my screen instead of my camera. That's a big rip. Oh my gosh, four heroes die at once, dude. I don't know if Blinding Blow works against this because it doesn't really matter how strong the hero actually is for Blinding Blow to work, right? Like, no matter how much damage this hero puts out, ah, that's a big rip, dude. Are we going to get a full stun on this next try? Is it random or are we just going to get hosed again with just getting completely wiped on number seven? Maybe I need some revitalize on something. Man, we got so much HP on these heroes, it's insane. All right, so let's go ahead and send out again. Come on, baby. Give us a stun. Are we blind? No, Plant Warrior's dead. Give me a five-hero stun. Come on. We got a lot of damage coming out. The hero's still attacking nonstop. He's not, like, frozen, but that is the animation as well. We're lasting a little bit longer this time. I like to see that. Five heroes coming on strong. We did lose Plant Warrior right at the start, and he has so much HP. Like, what kills that one Plant Warrior? We did get a decent stun off. We lasted 30 seconds on this level 7, which is a lot better than anybody else on the whole server did. So, I mean, that's not bad, I guess. Huh. Let's go. We're going to last a full three-minute fight at level 7? One time. Oh, Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker's down. Valentina's down. Man, we lasted so long right there. 
What causes me to last that long? That must mean blinding blows got to work, right? Blinding blows got to work because we're not using survival. So it's not like the boss is fracking on our heroes like the second survival. We actually did some DPS to this boss as well. Not much, but we damaged him a little bit. A lot more than I thought we were gonna, to be honest, after that first attempt. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly how well we did. I can't remember. Was that before that 84 million? I can't remember if I was before that. I think I was, like, right around that 84 million mark. Or, no, maybe not, actually. I think I was only around, like, 10 million. So, yeah, we got 84 million damage. It looks like we're still going to end off in third place, which, honestly, I'm not too disappointed with. Let's go ahead and get in. Ah, I can't even run arena. I can't really do anything else. Oh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, there was so much mixing and matching with heroes. Couldn't get my mind straight. I knew I had to use Blinding Blow, but forgot. I do. It stinks that you got to use enchantment talents to stun this boss. It's like... Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here. Let's go, Patriots. One time for the Super Bowl. Let's go! Hey, guys! If y'all